Good day everyone! Let's explore Properties of Materials Use the properties of materials whether they are useful or harmful. This lesson will help you to discover and understand the properties of materials and their uses. The lessons include activities that will guide you to use the properties of materials and determine whether they are useful or harmful. Do you know the materials you use in school? Let's have a game. Be ready with your things. As I name their uses, you will quickly say the name of the material. The materials that you will be guessing are materials that we usually use in school. Can you answer the following riddles? What am I? I have many leaves, but I don't have flowers. You can write on me. What am I? The answer is notebook. Did you get that right? The correct answer is Bowman. I can take you places without leaving your seat. You will learn a lot of things from me. What am I? The answer is Books. Usually flat and straight. I have lots of numbers all over my body. You use me to straight up lines. What am I? The answer is ruler. A pencil. Next question. I have different kinds of colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, and more. You can use me to color your world. What am I? and snub your paper. What am I? Answer is scissors. Very good. What do the materials you showed have? Now, the materials found in the kitchen. Can you name some materials? Look at the picture below. Can you tell the uses of each material found in the kitchen? This one is a pot holder. Used in handling hot materials. 
one is a kettle. It is used to boil water. And these are glasses. They are used for drinking liquids. Each materials have their own characteristics which tell about their properties. You can classify them based on their shared qualities and properties like texture, color, and hardness. These are called physical properties. Ceramics. They are hard, rigid, waterproof, and resistant to heat. There are also some plates, cups, and saucers that are made from plastics. Plastics are also durable, but once it is deformed, the deformation remains. They are also durable. Durability is the ability of the materials to withstand wear, pressure, or damage. Unlike plastic materials, rubber bands are elastic. When force is applied on it, it returns to its original size and shape after the force is removed. This property is elasticity. Rubber is durable, elastic, and can resist heat. This makes rubber an excellent material in making tires for land vehicles. original size and shape after the force is removed. Try to help your mother scrub the steel sink using steel wool or wire sponge. The sink and steel wool are made up of stainless steel. They are important because the sink is used to hold water when you wash things. They are also tough, easy to clean and strong. Some materials like fork, spoon, and knife are also made from stainless steel. You may cook rice in an aluminum pot or in a rice cooker. Aluminum is used in making cookwares like kettle, rice cooker, casserole, and frying pan because it is a good thermal conductor. It does not rust and has light weight. These properties are important for everyday use in cooking foods. Aluminum, a good thermal conductor, does not rust and has light weight. You can describe a metal kettle by saying that it is strong and durable. A metal is also malleable. This property, malleability, means that a metal can be hammered and formed into sheets which can be used for a variety of different purposes. Malleability That a metal can be hammered and formed into sheets. The performance of some solid materials considers their response to external forces. Hardness is a measure on the amount of force that an object can withstand. Tough materials like block of wood will not break easily in contrast to materials that are brittle like eggshells. Hardness will not break easily. Brittleness will break easily. Some materials found at home like the power cord of the rice cooker or extension wires are made from copper wires. These materials are good conductors of electricity. The electrical conductivity is the ability of metals to conduct heat and electricity. Hard materials like woods can be used to make tables, chairs, and walls of the house. They are also durable and tough. Electrical conductivity.
conductibility, ability of metals to conduct heat and electricity. Hard materials, they are durable and tough. That's all for today. Have fun answering the learning tasks and worksheets.